Billy D. Williams, born on April 6, 1937, is an American actor, artist, and singer. His full name is William December Williams, Jr. He was born in New York City, specifically in Harlem, to Loretta Ann, a West Indian-born elevator operator and nursery school teacher, and William December Williams, Sr., an African-American caretaker. Williams developed an interest in acting at a young age and attended the High School of Music and Art in New York. He later studied at the National Academy of Fine Arts and Design. During his teenage years, he performed in various stage productions and gained early recognition for his talent. In the mid-1950s, Billy D. Williams began his career in entertainment, with appearances on Broadway and in television shows. He made his film debut in 1959 in the movie The Last Angry Man. Williams's smooth voice and good looks helped him secure roles in both film and television throughout the 1960s and 1970s. One of his notable early roles was in the film Lady Sings the Blues, 1972, where he starred alongside Diana Ross. The movie was a biographical drama about the life of jazz singer Billie Holiday, and Williams received critical acclaim for his performance, Billy D. Williams gained widespread fame for his role as Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars franchise. He first appeared in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and reprised his role in Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, 1983. His portrayal of Lando Calrissian made him a beloved character in the Star Wars universe. Williams became a household name with his portrayal of Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars franchise. His smooth demeanor and iconic performance in The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983, solidified his status as a pop culture figure. Billy Dee Williams is best known for his role as Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars franchise. Lando is a charismatic and suave character who plays significant roles in two of the original trilogy films. Here's an overview of Billy Dee Williams' portrayal of Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars saga, Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980. Lando Calrissian is introduced in the second installment of the original trilogy. He is the administrator of Cloud City, a mining colony on the gas planet Bespin. Lando and Han Solo, played by Harrison Ford, share a history as former friends and owners of the Millennium Falcon. Lando becomes a key figure in the story when he is forced to make a deal with Darth Vader to betray Han Solo and Princess Leia to the Empire. However, Lando's character is complex, and he ultimately redeems himself by helping Leia, Chewbacca, and C-3PO escape from the clutches of the Empire. Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, 1983. Lando Calrissian returns in the final installment of the original trilogy. He joins the Rebel Alliance and plays a crucial role in the Battle of Endor, where the Rebels launch an assault on the second Death Star. Lando pilots the Millennium Falcon during the mission to destroy the Death Star, demonstrating his loyalty to the Rebel cause. His character undergoes further development, and he is fully embraced as a hero by the end of the film. Billy D. Williams has had a prolific career in movies, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Here are some notable movies in which he has played significant roles. The Last Angry Man, 1959. This drama marked Williams' film debut, and he played a supporting role in the movie. Lady Sings the Blues, 1972. Williams portrayed Louis McKay, the love interest of Billie Holiday, played by Diana Ross. His performance in this biographical drama received critical acclaim. Mahogany, 1975. In this romantic drama, Williams starred opposite Diana Ross once again. He played the role of Brian Walker, a politically active Chicago politician. Brian's Song, 1971. Williams played the role of Gail Sayers in this TV movie, which is based on the true story of the friendship between two Chicago Bears players, Brian Piccolo and Gail Sayers. 
The Bingo Long Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings, 1976. Williams starred alongside James Earl Jones and Richard Pryor in this sports comedy about a team of African-American baseball players in the Negro Leagues during the era of segregation. Williams showcased his versatility by taking on a range of roles in various genres, from drama to action and romance. In addition to his acting career, Williams is also known for his skills as a painter. His artwork, often characterized by abstract expressionism, has been exhibited in galleries. Billy D. Williams has been married three times and has two children. One of his ex-wives was a Sanford and Son actress, and after their marriage fell apart, he was at the lowest point in his life. Williams' first wife was Audrey Sellers. They tied the knot in 1959 and divorced in 1963. Together, they were blessed with a son, Corey Williams. After a few years, he met the Sanford and Son actress Marlene Clark, and the two were married in 1968 until 1971. She became Corey's stepmother for about three years. Sadly, the relationship hit rocks, and so did Billy. He told People magazine at the time, It was the lowest point of my life. I remember going to parties and sitting in a corner, crying for no reason. He also started to experiment with LSD and got involved with a woman that was an ex-drug addict and a Buddhist. She exposed the actor to Eastern philosophy. She was a master, he confessed to people. She gave me a rebirth. Today, Billy D. Williams is married to his wife of 46 years, Teruko Nakagami. They tied the knot in 1972. Their union was blessed with one child who they named Hanako Williams. She also has a daughter, Miyako, from her previous relationship to musician Wayne Shorter. He said of Teruko, My wife is fantastic. She is principled and moral. With this thing the Japanese have about honor, she forces me to deal with things. Otherwise, I'd be running around like a crazy person. I need somebody to sit on me and calm me down. Williams will be back on the big screen next year, as he's going to reprise his role as Lando Calrissian, on Star Wars Episode 9. According to reports, the former couple married on July 28, 1961, and the former couple welcomed a daughter, Miyako. However, after their marriage ended, Taruko found love again with Billy. Taruko and Billy had been married for 23 years when their marriage ended. According to Williams's spokesperson, even though Taruko had been the one who filed for divorce, their separation was an amicable parting, not a messy Hollywood divorce. Teruko and her ex-husband kept a low profile during their marriage, with reports stating the former couple preferred to steer clear of Hollywood gatherings for a quiet night at home instead. His first marriage was to Audrey Sellers in 1959. They were divorced some years later, after which he apparently became depressed. He stated that there was a period when I was very despondent Broquet, depressed, my first marriage was on the rocks. They had a son, Corey D. Williams, born in 1960. Talented actor Corey D. Williams, who is the son of veteran actor Billy D. Williams, joined the trend as he penned down a glowing tribute in honor of his mom. Corey is the son of Star Wars actor Billy D. from his first marriage to model Audrey Sellers. The iconic actor has a daughter, Hanako, and stepdaughter Miyako, from his second marriage to Teruko Nakagami. Billy D. Williams made his adult acting debut in the Broadway production The Cool World and went on to feature in several blockbuster films, later becoming a sex symbol. Williams, who describes himself as gender fluid, has enjoyed a successful career. Williams's movie credits include Brian's Song, Lady Sings the Blues, Mahogany, Star Wars, amongst others. The film Lady Sings the Blues, which saw him star alongside Diana Ross, was a box office hit and got five Oscar nominations. Fans of the actor have been hoping to see Williams reprise his role as Lando Calrissian in Star Wars, which is arguably his best role to date. In a 2016 interview, when asked about his thoughts on a younger actor playing a younger version of Lando, Williams responded, 
I think I made that character into something extraordinary, and I can't imagine anybody else doing it, to be very frank with you. Williams, who describes himself as gender fluid, has enjoyed a successful career spanning several decades and is one of the most highly respected figures in the industry. In 2019, he came out of semi-retirement to take up a role that fans have been anticipating for years. The iconic actor returned as Lando Calrissian in December 2019 on Star Wars Episode IX, The Rise of Skywalker. Williams turned 83 earlier in April, making him one of the longest-serving actors in Hollywood with over six decades of outstanding achievements. As of 2024, his net worth is estimated to be a substantial $9 million. Williams's success can be attributed to his remarkable acting prowess, versatility, and his ability to bring depth to every character he portrays. Billy D. Williams lives in Five Million Dollar Mansion, in the heart of Hollywood, where dreams unfolded like the scenes in a blockbuster film. There lived a legendary actor named Billy D. Williams, with a career that spanned decades and an iconic status. Billy D. enjoyed the fruits of his labor in a magnificent mansion that stood as a testament to his success. The mansion, a sprawling estate that exuded luxury from every corner was perched on the hills overlooking the city. It was a grandiose structure with classic architecture adorned with columns and a sweeping driveway leading up to the entrance. The lush grounds were a haven of tranquility, with manicured gardens and a sparkling pool that glistened under the California sun. Billy Dee's mansion was not just a house. It was a sanctuary filled with memories and the echoes of a remarkable career. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the city, the mansion came to life with the hum of Hollywood history. The living room, adorned with tasteful art and plush furnishings, was a place where Billy Dee entertained fellow actors, directors, and friends. The walls adorned with accolades and mementos from his illustrious career told a story of triumphs and timeless performances. As the fireplace crackled, conversations filled the room, blending the echoes of laughter with tales of the golden age of cinema. The kitchen, a chef's paradise, bore witness to the creation of culinary masterpieces. From intimate dinners with close friends to lavish parties that lit up the night, the mansion's kitchen was a hub of gastronomic delight. Billy D, known for his charm on and off the screen, played the role of the gracious host with effortless elegance. The master bedroom, a retreat fit for a Hollywood icon, boasted panoramic views of the city below. The room was a haven of serenity, with a vast canopy bed and a private balcony that provided a front row seat to the city lights. It was a place where Billy D found solace, reflecting on a life well lived. The mansion also featured a state of the art home theater where Billy D could relive the magic of his own performances or enjoy the latest cinematic masterpieces. The walls were adorned with vintage movie posters, and the sound system enveloped the room, creating an immersive experience worthy of a Hollywood legend. As the years passed, the mansion became a symbol of Billy D. Williams' enduring legacy. It stood as a reminder that dreams could be realized and success could be celebrated in the grandeur of a $5 million haven. And so, in the heart of Hollywood, the story of Billy D. Williams and his magnificent mansion continued to unfold, a tale of glamour, achievement, and the timeless allure of the silver screen. Billy D. Williams is a person who lives a simple, unpretentious life. We often see him using a Lexus SC430, a sleek semi-sports convertible that costs about $68,000. This automotive gem is equipped with a powerful V8 engine ensuring an enjoyable driving experience. What makes Lexus different is not only its powerful performance, but also its series of high-end features helping each trip become a combination of comfort and sophistication.
Adding to the charm of the Shepard collection is the BMW 2 Series, a car that costs around $44,000 beneath its stylish exterior, lies a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces an impressive 248 horsepower. The interior is covered in synthetic leather, bringing a luxurious feel to the driving experience electrically adjustable front seats. Enhance comfort, ensuring a pleasant journey for the driver and passengers. Best of all, the 6.5-inch infotainment screen brings a modern feel to the BMW 2 Series, putting both entertainment and convenience features right at the driver's fingertips. Thanks for watching.